Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and today we're going to be doing a requested video, and the topic for today is uh, garbage collection. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Um, here at Python Basics, we do micro videos. Uh, we do one subject, possibly two, but we build upon them. So we're breaking in between a series right now because uh, I'm going to be taking a break for a week and this has been requested sitting out there for a while. But all right, so a little th this topic takes a little bit of history to it. So um, garbage collection, memory allocation, Python programming language. So all right, depending on how much you know and how long you've been around with Python, Python was built to be a very simple and clean language because there were gaps that were around. And Python is actually written in C. All right, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's just look. So this is a module platform, and you can run this. There it is, platform Python implementation. So what does that mean? How is Python being implemented? What is this code? So it's <clears throat> platform, then boom, C Python. So you may be running, if you're running the shell, uh, you are running C Python. Uh, if you're in a, in a other interpreter, you might be uh, running Jython, uh, JPython, um, or PyPy. And so, all right, that's how quickly you can get off into the weeds here. So, all right, this is written in C, and what C did is you actually had to manage, you had to manage the memory. And so what came to be is they are using methods and functions in C to then automatic, automatically handle your garbage, which is when you delete. So here we go. So the automatic garbage collection was determined to be reference counting. So then here we are. So you're, you're going to see how these connect. Then you use your, uh, let's see if you make sure you guys can see this. So your del, your uh, delete. And then so then here we go. Here's your garbage, cyclical garbage collector. Now, let's continue on. Now your garbage collection, this you can actually then control. So whenever a yield, whenever a generator is ended or you delete a variable, it goes into the garbage collector. And there's actually a module that then you can then begin to deal with these things but uh, where was it was it help yeah let me show you this so this is actually one of the building blocks uh, ABC let me show you so uh, Gordo took a lot of things and built upon him he took took pieces from some languages pieces from others put them together Oh shoot! I thought it had ABC here, but it was one of the um, one of the building blocks for the ideas that he really liked was uh, the ABC language. I could have sworn it was here, but you can go and read about that. And also, let me see. I think I got a pep a pep for you, but you can actually go back and look and see at the how this all came to be. But pep documentation are actually the rules. So when you're dealing with the garbage collector and um, uh, that module, you're you're really getting into it. So just wanted to answer this, throw this out there. Really great question, and uh, I think it was posed that there really isn't anything out there, and that's that's kind of like the thing, and that's what actually uh, drew was one of the first things I remember reading about Python was that you're not going to have to handle memory allocation other languages like C. Python is a high level language. That, that's not mean, meaning that it's uh, fancier. <clears throat> I want you to think about it. It's higher from the CPU. 
then you have lower languages. So you have it's it's like there's more autopilot. So the lower you go, the more you have to control things. And the but then the closer you are to the memory and the CPU. So there we go. Just wanted to throw this out there. Uh, super great question. So um, as I said at the beginning, going to be taking a week off. Uh, not going to have any live stream over at Free Code Camp. Not going to have any videos for the next week. Um, got some really cool stuff uh, brewing for our Django series. But I just love this community so much. Uh, we're getting a uh, Discord server set up so we can, we can have uh, constant communication and uh, running threads going from there. So thank you guys for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.